OK, so this is part two of this experiment, and my magnets have finally arrived, and here they are. They're um, Neo magnets, N35s actually, and um, the large ring magnet is uh, 2.4 centimetres across, with an 8mm hole in the centre. So you've got 8mm, 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 even divided into three. And the north south is fair, um, north face is pointing up on the ring, and the south face is pointing up in the... Um, little magnet in the centre. The little magnet in the centre is a disc magnet, 8mm by 2mm, and they're all 2mm thick. Now there's a stack of four ring magnets there, but there's only a stack of three ring magnets on the centre of it. And uh, that seems to create the hill that you need to hold the graphite chip uh, nice and firm in the centre there. Now I picked up a small Fresnel lens, a little square Fresnel lens there to help me focus all this stuff, and here is my um, chip of um, strangely diamagnetic graphite that I picked up from that mine in Sri Lanka. Now I've painted the um, top of it black to help the um, help with the light absorption so it gets a bit hotter quicker and on a sunny day which you've got now I've got it sitting in the sun and I'm going to use my Fresnel lens there to focus the light onto that ring and what we're trying to do here is to get that to spin sitting on the magnetic field only with the help of the focused light from the Fresnel lens. So that's what we're going to do. OK, and there we go. It's a little bit of a challenge to get it focused, but if you get the light focused right, there is that chip spinning away. Now that's pretty cool. It's a bit of a challenge to get this right, but there we go. If I can get the light focused on that chip right, and...